hello friends welcome to my youtube channel in today's video tutorial we will be learning how to uh, create multiple line graphs uh, in single uh, chart so we will be doing this in eviews so first i will import an excel or import an excel file and so i have data set over here So yes, we have imported it. Yes, we have imported the file. So we will be creating different graphs. So let's let's start. So first, uh, I have a uh, named the uh, different variables given the name like uh, uh, these are different ids for uh, these different graphs so i will be using these for creating multiple graphs for example i will use so in order to create a graph i will open it as a group and then view graph then okay yes so we have the graph so here here is the uh, the time and here are the uh, values of the different variables for example uh, capital ratios CR1 capital ratio 2 uh, return on asset return on equity liquidity ratio so okay so now uh, we have to freeze this and then we will name it let's say for example we keep this name okay so now we will close this yes now we'll, we will be creating another graph for uh, another category for example this is uh, the these are the variables for another uh, so for example bank or company so we have the graph we will be explaining in detail the, uh, about the graph uh, after make, uh, creating these graphs so first let complete the uh, uh, graph creating process okay so here we have to create a graph and then okay simply click ok so yeah we have another graph now we have to do the same process we will freeze it then we will name it okay, we will keep this name once again okay so then close it And uh, now we will be picking the third category of variables. We will open it as a group. Then we will view it as a graph. And we will keep the other things same and we will create. Yeah, so we have this another graph for the third category. So we will again freeze it. And then we will uh, name it. So the process is getting repeated. Now I will close it. Yes. So we have the last category. Now we will be we will be creating the graph for this category, and we will open it. As a group. Then we will generate graph. So okay. So we have the final graph here we will freeze it and then we will name it okay so yeah now we will close it so now you can see that the graphs which we have created are here so now we will open these all together so we will select all the uh, graphs 
and then double click on any one of them so here we have the graphs we can maximize it okay so now we have the graphs uh, now we can make the changes which we need or uh, now uh, let me explain these uh, graphs so first uh, all these graphs belongs to uh, uh, different banks for example a bank b bank c bank and d bank and we have the variables for all uh, these banks and their uh, capital ratios uh, the uh, tier 1 capital ratio, tier 2 capital ratio, liquidity ratio, return on asset and return on equity. Now, um, uh, as you can see, these values are repeated. Means the variables are same for the banks are different. So we need not to keep all three or four these uh, legends. So we can remove it. We will be doing later uh, that thing later. First, let us do some basic changes. So, if you have to do changes in all the graphs uh, simultaneously, then you will just right click and go to option on all graphs. Okay, so we have the uh, we have the graphs here. Now, for example, we want to change uh, the colors or uh, uh, symbols belonging to it so we can change it so for example in case of first graph we want to keep a symbol like this in case of second we want to keep it like this in case of third we want to keep it like this in case of fourth we want to like this and in case of four we want to keep it like say like this okay in case of say in case of fifth we want to take it like uh, we have to take different one so we can take this we have not inserted this symbol yet okay so we have this now we can apply it and say yes so you can see the changes are uh, you can see the changes in the graph so now for example you want to highlight a particular period for example you want to say that uh, you want to specify in the graph that during 2007 to 2012 the policy was introduced the government or by the central bank of the country and uh, you need to highlight the graphs and want to sh uh, show that how the trend moved during that period so first, first you have to click right click and then add a line and shading so uh, uh, we will click on the shaded area and we want to highlight the period from 2007 to 2014 okay so then we will click ok and now you can see the period is highlighted so this is how you will be doing uh, this thing now we want to uh, delete the repeated legend so we can delete it click on it and right click and just uh, remove the selected one similarly we can do this uh, remove we click it and uh, remove it we can take this to the end of this graph now we need to do some little adjustments over here so now we will position we will change the position positions of the graph so we will change the vertical di di distance to 0 0.75 and the horizontal 0 0.35 okay yeah now it is looking much better yeah 
okay for example so here is the uh, here are the different drafts so if you want to add some text over here you can see this is this is a particular bank say say bank of Kathmandu okay so now this you can pick in and keep it over here similarly you can name the other uh, graphs as well so yeah this is how you will do uh, you will create multiple uh, graphs using eviews and uh, this is how you will combine these graphs so i hope uh, you learned something from this video uh, please do like if you learned something thank you so much for watching this video